cotan squared x. Okay. Um, so very similar thing here. We've got cosines mixed with some other trig functions. So I think it's a good plan initially. Just switch everything sines and cosines and deal with it that way. Okay. So we know cotangent squared is cosine squared over sine squared minus cosine squared. And over here, I know, again, you're allowed to change both sides. You just can't do the same thing to both sides. So I'm just rewriting this in terms of sines and cosines. Whoa. Okay. What's up there, scroll? We came with this. That's a two there. Okay. So this is 29. I'm going to simplify the right-hand side just by putting it all together as one fraction. Okay. So that's going to become cosine to the fourth of x over sine squared. So that's my goal. I'm trying to get to that, right? So we're going to take the left-hand side um, and get a common denominator. This is what we're going to have to do. Is that okay? Because the right-hand side is one fraction. So the left-hand side has to become one fraction. So I know this is over 1. And all I'm going to do is multiply the top and the bottom by sine squared. That's my common denominator. That's going to give me cosine squared minus cosine squared times sine squared all over sine squared times cosine squared. Nope, just sine squared. What am I talking about? Just sine squared. I apologize. Yeah. Up here, what's my common denominator? Now, sine squared. So I multiply this fraction right here by sine squared, which made them have the same denominator. Then we just put together as one big fraction. Okay? Now, you can see here, look at this, how my fractions looking. Are they good? We got a sine squared on the bottom. That's what we want. So look, once the bottom falls into place, that means the top has to be what we want it to be. As long as we've done everything correctly and not like made up some math that's not equal to what we started with. Okay? So all that means is what that stuff is up there has to simplify down to cosine to the fourth somehow. Cool? And I gave you those seven steps. So at this point, what can we do? Let's factor. Yeah, that, very good. Let's factor out cosine squared up top, right? And if you factor out that cosine squared, that leaves you with 1 minus sine squared. And that's all over sine squared, like we want it to be. Remember, we're trying to get to here. And it happens to work out that 1 minus sine squared is cosine squared. And we're multiplying it by another cosine squared. So that's just cosine to the fourth over sine squared, which equals what we wanted it to equal. Okay?